We're here tonight for a special edition of The Movie Show. I'm Valerie Reckless and with me is my usual co-host, Mingo Bongo. And tonight we're hosting a retrospective of the works of Simon Luckhurst, the well-known, unknown filmmaker. Oh. We're going to start off with one of his early works, The Mosquito Cost, directed by Harrison J. Chad and starring Michael Cinquetti and Liz Luati as a couple stalked by a psychotic insect. This film reveals the true dynamics of long-term relationships in a humorous and sensitive way. How can you say that? It looks like it was shot overnight in a warehouse in Wollongong. The only insight you can discover from this film is that its writer shouldn't be allowed within a million miles of a word processor. Action! Darling. I told you I have a meeting in the morning. I'm too tired. Oh, I thought we could... Uh... Mm -hmm. If you're going to suggest that we film ourselves again tonight, please don't. I find the whole concept quite disgusting. Did you hear that? It was nothing. Probably just a car outside. There it is. You should have listened when I said you'd spray too much before we went to bed. You didn't say anything like that. You complained it was too pungent. Same thing. I was being subtle. Pungent is not subtle. Pungent is obtuse. Well, I didn't want to cause a conflict. There won't be any conflict tonight. What kind of a word is that? Why didn't you just say it was too smelly? Well, I felt there was a certain dignity in pungent. Well, that it stank. You never say what you mean, do you? Did you get it? Sorry, missed. I deliberately used the word pungent because the last time I casually said something along the lines of Darling, have you considered you might be playing a little too excessively? I was on the receiving end of a lecture describing the evils of mosquitoes that lasted until dawn. Satisfied? That didn't take long, did it, Snorkums? Are you sure it's dead? Kill them. Really? Calm down. Maybe we should open the door so we can fly out. Do you remember what happened the last time we did that? They all flew in? We never actually saw any. It was only you who said that. They were there, all right. Whole squadrons of them massing for a raid. They won't get me this time. There should be fine print when you begin a relationship with someone. What do you mean by that? Something like, looks gorgeous, S successful in business. I'm completely obsessed about bloody mosquitoes. Devil's insect. Not the lecture. Maybe there should also be something that says, if she doesn't understand that the word pungent means you're spraying a little too excessively, dear, she must be a complete weirdo. How outstandingly bizarre I am. Give the freak a dictionary. I'm sorry I said pungent. What a good idea. Where's the Webster's? Didn't mention scenes like this in the relationship contract either. It's... The little endearing things you find out about someone, I suppose. Sorry, was it too pungent for you? Oh, mother's gone! It's okay. That was just your golf trophy. Guess my aim is a bit. No! Not the P word again. The clock! Well? I think so.
Clayton! She got it! Bullseye, I have to do this. You can see that, can't you? There are forces in this beyond basic desire. I understand. In a way, I almost respect your persistence. It's just... Pungent? No. Mother loved this clock. <laughs> Don't. You only hurt yourself. I'll do it. Are you all right? I think... I think so. Ah! I'm beginning to suspect that we're cursed. Oh, no, don't go down that road. Mosquitoes are the spawn of Lucifer. They come to us in the night on the wings of horror. They break into our sleep like careless nurses bringing pestilence and disease, and malaria, Ross River virus, dengue fever, and cancer. They do not bring cancer. How do you know? Have you gone beyond linguistics to become some kind of expert in contagious diseases now? No, I've just never heard that theory before. You don't understand it's a conspiracy. See how insidious they are? There was a time not long ago when I believed like you. But then I learned the truth. They're brutal. They take no prisoners, leave no clues. They're a manifestation of pure evil. Now you're being ridiculous. In the 13th century, one third of the world's population was wiped out by the bubonic plague. And how do you think it was spread? A uh, fleas, wasn't it? That's what they would have you believe! Oh, look, I've had it! That's enough! I want to separate, I want a divorce! You never had any faith in what we could achieve, did you? All the time it was only me who believed. Did you get it? It's very dead. Mouse. 